I heard oh, you want to talk about the small country of Turkey. <clears throat> I tell you what, dude, before we go into this, I look the last hold on, pause it. I like the music. Correct. The last video that we did, I'm pretty clear that we uh, showed the con and Turkey, Turkish aviation in a positive light. Like I was uh, surprised and proud of the fact that they were coming up with their own airplane. And man, I got a ton of hate. I don't even think people watched the video. They just probably assumed we said something crappy about it and just That's took a big dump on my, <laughs> on my comments. Look, right in the bottom. I spelled what? it the way they want it to be spelled now. I, yeah, Turk. I, yeah, I can't even pronounce this. I'm not going to, but I think it's still um, pronounced Turkey. Okay, Turkey. Yes, I know it's not the smallest country in the world, but, uh, but yeah, so it's hey, also not the biggest, definitely not the biggest. And I was referring to this aviation industry, intermediate last... sized country. <laughs> okay. Um, so the airplane did go on its first flight this week. So uh, they put out a couple of videos. Go ahead, mover. Play it, man. Oh, well, this is Douglas. Douglas has. Or Douglas, sorry. Sorry, Douglas. God, music's awesome. Is that a green light? Watch the stabs. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, Standard practice, always leave the gear down on first flight. Yep. Like it. Well, the case, they assumed yeah. they were going to crash on takeoff there. Did you see the stabs? <laughs> like, I'd have it down too, dude. <laughs> Send all hate mail to TR Matson. <laughs> That's fine. It's not hate mail. That thing looked like it was afraid to fly initially. So it's really there flying. Was some, there were so... some ones and zeros going on there for a second. What are they chasing it with? Probably Viper? 16. Yeah. Yeah. Show the Viper. I don't care about this. Oh boy, this stabs are all hate. Uh, <laughs> welcome aboard. You couldn't grease it in on the first landing. Uh, no. You got to establish dominance. Uh, and there was, yeah. Make sure the there, thing's on the ground. There was a second video too that showed it on the ground. So you know, people wanted me to talk. So I watched the video a couple times to pull some, pull some points out. Yeah, this there video here. You can just play the first part. Oh, I don't see the flag through the sky. This looks cinematic. Well, the middle part's the same. It's the same footage. Is that their national anthem? Are they going to... I bet they get the flyby on time. All right, right. move. Are those APU carts? APU start, both engines? Uh, I watched I don't it know. like in slow-mo, I'm pretty sure. There was firefighters in case they had to shoot it down, though. <laughs> that looks like a huffer, for sure. Yeah, huffer on both sides, right? Huffer and an electrical cart on the other well, side. One looks like electrical, yeah. One yeah. AP. I don't think... I just yeah, wonder I if it has its. I, I just most modern airplanes have an APU or something. That, I, you know, I, I would just say start. it probably does, but they probably have the option of doing that just so they can. That's true. Like that, Dude, we wasn't didn't part have of that the though, test. Right? We did. Charlie yeah. wasn't that way. Yeah, the Hornet. No, you was. could do a huffer. Really? Yeah, I huffer yeah, started I a Hornet once. Attention. I got in trouble for it, but I I did it. Yeah, I tried to buddy start a Hawkeye once. Yeah, where the plane in front's turning to get your. <laughs> I'm not um, kidding. Maybe. It was in Natops. Oh. So it's just they just show a little bit of ground ops here. But so basically, like between these two videos, um, so this airplane uses at least this initial version uses two F-16 engines. It's just this first flight. I think 2030 is when they're shooting to make it operational. You can see so, there's no there's no HUD, right? And uh you know, the way it's designed it's like watch those stabs again. So 2030, so same time as the T7. Yeah, exactly. So there's no HUD, right? So there's it's probably they probably have their own oh. helmet. Yeah. You know, uh and I don't know about you guys, but the I, you know, I'm just an operator. I'm not an engineer or a designer, but the the stabs are are huge on that thing. They're way too big. Like I don't get the I, they are obnoxiously big. Well, it does not age. have thrust factoring, so you got big stabs that can Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's probably a lot of low low AOA. And the, the stabs in the rudder, I'm just an operator. Um, and as a fighter pilot, I'm super shallow. Um, I care about looks. And yeah, the stabs are, are massive, and the rudders are huge on this thing. Um, yeah, it doesn't, but, doesn't look good from the back. What, what does that tell me? Like, like, like Mover is talking about, they, it probably has really good slow speed um, characteristics. Sure. But, but I don't know. Clearly, it's fly-by-wire. Like Wombat keeps pointing out, the stabs do the do the dance on takeoff there as he probably just commanded a rotation. 
Yeah, no, um, no, no, I'm sure that was nothing with a pilot. It was all, it was yeah. probably if, I mean, and again, I'm not a smart man, but I would guess it was probably transitioning from fly by wire ground mode to fly by wire air, air, you know, airborne yeah. mode. But my God, that looks not good initially. Yeah. Like, and I, I wonder, <clears throat> they borrowed the F 16 engines mover, and I wonder if they borrowed a lot of the flight control stuff from the F 16 because they've been flying that for a while. I'm um, never going to, you're going to get so much hate mail if you say they borrowed some stuff. I, I, I'm well, just, I mean, it makes I, sense if they did, right? If they know the tech and they know how to work yeah, on it, why wouldn't it? Something they're familiar with. I mean, because it's good, right? The F 16 flight control system. Yeah. Well, good. as was pointed out in the comments, they produce a lot of stuff in country. So, yes, I know. So, <laughs> hey, long story short, congrats, Turkey on the first yeah. flight of your fifth gen aircraft but uh you know it's still very much in its infancy and we'll see uh you know we'll see how it pans out 2030 see no at the merge see at the merge bob smith god i know that's what i thought of too <laughs> <laughs>